Hi, in this video, I'll be talking about ways you can use makeup during cancer treatment to make yourself look good and feel better. Now, if makeup's not for you, totally cool, but for a lot of people, they don't like the changes in appearance with loss of hair, and sometimes people can lose their eyebrows and eyelashes, and they also notice changes in their skin because of, in particular, the corticosteroids we use to prevent nausea from chemotherapy. Your skin may also become more sensitive and look a little bit different because of that. So I'm just gonna give you some tips that might help if makeup is part of your routine, or if it's not and you just want to try something new. Now, in terms of your eyebrows and eyelashes, one thing you can do if you're going to be receiving chemotherapy is take a really good picture of your face before you lose any hair. And you can use this as a guide if you want to use an eyebrow pencil or you want to use um, a stencil to create eyebrows and you want to reproduce the look that you have before you have any hair thinning. So that can be really useful for you. Now, if you want to pencil in eyebrows, using a lighter color than what you think can be really helpful. So try to avoid really dark colors, which can be really stark and also appear less natural, unless that's the look you're going for. You can use a top colored pencil for especially lighter haired uh, people or reddish haired people and a little bit darker brown if you have darker hair. Once you apply the uh, eyebrow pencil to your brows, you can smudge it in to make it look a little more natural. The American Cancer Society has a program called Look Good, Feel Better, and people there can actually give you some additional tips on how to apply eyebrow pencil. You can use eyebrow stencils, which you can get on famous online retailers, and if you're interested and you live near a place that has some of the larger beauty chains, you can go into those and get some tips from people who work in the store. They can actually show you how to do this. So there are lots of options. In terms of your skin, you'll want to make sure you clean your skin very well. Be very gentle though, and use a gentle cleanser. Then you'll want to apply moisturizer. If your face is reddish around the nose or your cheeks, you can apply a very neutral color. And there's some sort of green tinted um, primers you can use that will help remove some of the redness on your face. You'll want to make sure you apply the makeup with very clean fingers or a makeup brush. This might be time to invest in something that's special that you can use to make sure you're really comfortable with how the makeup is going on your face. And you may want to practice with a friend. It's best to do this in natural light as opposed to at night when you have only artificial light. Some people I know practice putting on makeup in the car where it's private, but you also have natural light. In terms of your lips, you can um, use a tinted moisturizer instead of lipstick, because lipstick, lipsticks can be very drying. It's really good to make sure you apply a moisturizer like a lip balm to make sure that your lips are nice and moist before you put on any lipstick or tinted lip balm. You can use lip balm throughout the day, and when they have a tint, there are certain natural brands that you can use that actually can uh, keep the color in your lips a little bit longer. And when you're not feeling well, these types of things can help you feel a lot better about how you look. Now, of course, we're much more than what we show on the outside. So these tips are really just options for you to feel as good as you can but the most important thing is how you feel about yourself on the inside so you can take these tips or leave them we wanted to share a few ways to take care of your skin and also help you feel as good as possible for many of us our appearance is the first thing we show the world and if you're a teacher or you're in real estate you work in customer service these sorts of things can be really important to you I hope this has been helpful. If it has, click like and subscribe. I do also want to add you want to avoid phthalates and parabens. 
they have been linked, um, they do get absorbed in our body and they have been linked to adverse outcomes and in animal models to the development of cancer, which is not to say you caused your cancer if you use them. And if you are interested in knowing what treatment options might be available for you, visit yerba.com for your personalized report.